Dr. Galen, I'm glad to see you again. Do you have any news about Lev? I got some information, yes. I've also heard some things that were apparently public knowledge that you forgot to mention. What do you mean? You haven't been honest with me, Slava. We need to be open about this. Compassionate persuasion, firm demand, light-hearted remark. She's old, she knows tricks. Firm demand, we don't want to be firm. Not that firm. Light-hearted remark, probably a bit too... Middle of the road. Middle of the road. Always is a good idea in visual novels, said no one ever. I agree to look for Lev, but I can't do it if you hide important information. Please understand, if I'm going to help you, you must help me first. Gods, I know it may look like I'm hiding something, but I've told you everything I know! People in this place lie to gain things, or just because they can. But this is about Lev. I've got nothing to gain from keeping secrets. I see. So, it's a lie in the first place you've been so concerned about Lev's disappearance. I've heard it's never bothered you before. People were quite surprised by how you were upset today. That's right, mention many people. Don't just say person. Why are you asking me this? Are you investigating Lev's disappearance or my emotional well-being? I can't believe it! I thought you were a reasonable man! I thought I knew the difference between fact and ugly rumour. I expected more of you. Uh, playing the same, playing the sympathy and pity card is not going to get you out of this. Enough! Did you know your husband was beaten by his fans' guards the night he's vanished? I, I did. Istvan told me. You heard this from Istvan? I never expected he would actually do it. He came to me that night. Istvan's guards did not go easy on him. You knew this the whole time. I knew he could be a ruthless man, but he's changed so much. Spirits, the way you talk about him. What exactly is your relationship with Istvan? He's my employer. I'm bound by compact to his will. Compact? You're right, you really don't know the basics. It's a form of contract that basically makes you the holder's slave. Which is why you're still here. Everyone in the city has to sign a compact with the bank, and that used to mean Istvan. I thought the merchants governed everything. Didn't see that? Didn't see that. The families are always fighting each other. Istvan's family is the strongest. It's effectively in charge. Oh good, now Chrome is going mental. I, uh, never use Chrome, it's a bad idea. <laughs> Before he retired, Istvan's ruled the city with an iron fist. His word, his law. When the merchants left for the winter, they left him here as caretaker, which gives him all the power there is. So he is the only authority now, and since he has the guards with him, he can do whatever he wants, just like his ruling days. <laughs> you seem to know him well. Let me ask you once more. What's your relationship with this fan? He's my employer. Excuse me? Really? That makes more sense as to why they beat him up. There could be a certain jealousy issue if he's your lover. Man. That's a twist. Thank you for your honesty. What kind of job do you do for him? I'm bound by my compact never to reveal it. I can't tell you anything. I can only report to him. Report? You're collecting information for him? I understand. No, Doctor, you don't understand the half of it. I can see this is difficult for you, Slava, but I need to ask you something else. Your cone told me Lev was asking her about magic. Do you know why? He's ill, he can't think straight, he'd believe anything he thinks can help him find his treasure. So he imagined Yakon would be able to help him with magic. His imagination is the source of his madness, Doctor. He can no longer tell the truth from his own fantasies. Alright, I could ask you more, but I have a feeling you won't tell me anything new. You're stubborn, Slava, you know that? Don't tell that to someone who's just given you a whole bunch of information they shouldn't have! Galen is not the cleverest person knocking around the block, is he? I'm the innkeeper in the city of secrets and lies. Speaking too much goes against my trade. I also believe that if you remember anything important, you'll tell me without my asking. I may not know you well, but I can usually tell when people are lying to me. You've told me all that you could. That's, oh, so, so wrong. No way that's right. Thank you for your understanding, Doctor. Please, Slava, call me Gar Galen. Galen. Alright, thank you, Galen. Listen, there's one more thing I need to tell you before you go. I thought so. What is it, Slava? 
like, yeah, easy to say that in retrospect. Here, take this. What is this? A book? Lev's diary, the most recent one. He put all his clues and hypotheses into it. He kept it hidden from me, but I've always known he had it. If you want to know why I'm so worried, it's because of this. He would never willingly leave it behind. It's his most precious possession. Frankly, it's his only possession. And he left it? And this has never happened before. Lev's memory is perfect when it comes to Kalar. He gathered immense knowledge on the topic, even if most of it is myth and rumour. But when it comes to everyday life, he's a child, helpless and forgetful. Ah, oh, interesting. The diary is protected. Yes, it's locked. I don't know where the key is. My guess is that Lev has that. No, I don't mean the physical lock, although having the key would certainly help. I just hope it'll help you find my husband before something terrible happens. I have the worst suspicions. Something bad is happening in the city. Holy shit! That you're bleeding from your nose! Spirits! Constance, what happened? Dr. Galen, I need your help. She fainted. She did. You shouldn't be surprised by this. You're the fucking doctor. Go and do something! No, do, do so I'm hoping in that time that you did something. At first, I had no idea where I was. The doctor told... Oh, uh, we're, we're switching perspective now. At first, I had no idea where I was. The doctor told me I spent the last two weeks in bed, feverish and weak. He said I almost died. It took me a while, but eventually, memories flooded my mind. Struggling with the blizzard, trying to traverse the icy desert, the biting forests, the warmth and sleepiness that followed. By some bizarre coincidence, I was found by the last sleigh caravan en route to the city. The fact that it was carrying a skilled healer bordered on the impossible, but what matters is that I survived and reached my destination. When I was finally strong enough to get out of my bed, I learned two things. First, the doctor was very inquisitive. Second, he was very busy. It seemed that despite the dead season, the city teemed with schemers. And since I had very few secrets of my own, I had to be cautious. Oh, not very few, few secrets of my own. Yeah, the dynamic of that sentence changes. Huh? What? Where am I? A simple bed, a desk, some wooden panels. If this was the afterlife, I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> oh man, wouldn't you be pissed off? Oh great, where are the women? Or money, and lager and vodka, and <laughs> cider, where is it? It's just water and some pipes. Great. <laughs> whoop de doo I guess this means I managed to reach the city. I thought I was a goner. Merciful chances this hurts. Frostbite? The next time the Chancellor asks me to reach a destination, no matter the cost, I'll have a different answer for her. I'd like to see her move her tush through the frozen wasteland. If she were missing a piece or two, by the end it would be a pr improvement. An improvement. But as long as I'm here, I should get to work. Oddly enough, this place doesn't look like it's in dire need. But I guess if it did, it would be too late. Someone's coming. This is an opportunity to eavesdrop and see what's been happening. I need to know as much as possible. Though eavesdropping isn't the best first impression for the person who probably saved my life. Uh, He's... The doctor's the kind of person to just blab a mouth liberally, so we'll ask him. Good morning. Are you the one I should be grateful towards? You're finally awake. Yes, by all means, be grateful to me. Flowers and an old brew from wherever you're from will do. Funny you should say that. That's exactly what I chose to carry th with me through the blizzard. So, you're the hero? Sometimes I'm the doctor who treated you. Please, call me Dalen. Dalen? No, Galen. I'm dying to finally know the name of my patient. My name is Yanni. How long was I out? Almost two weeks. Now that's no reason to look sad. You're extremely lucky to be alive. I like Yanni immediately so much more than Galen. <laughs> Galen's just a naive little knob. Yes, thank you for that. It's not me you should be thanking, actually. Our caravan pilot spotted you in the snow almost a day's journey from the gates. Wearing masking colours was not one of your best ideas. Although well, travelling on foot through a frozen idea easily takes the cake. What in spirits were you trying to do? I was travelling with what was supposed to be the last caravan. About halfway there, the pilot decided true winter came earlier than expected and decided to turn back. 
and you stayed behind during a raging blizzard. What was so important you had to gamble your life for? A well-paying job repairing the city if such a need arises. What do you what do you do for the people here? I'm supposed to do for the city. So we're just an engineer. That's tame. There has to be more to it than that. There is no way that I'm just an engineer. You're telling me you risked your life to become a janitor. That's not what I thought. That's very unusual, assuming you're telling the truth. What is wrong with you, Galen? She's just woken up. She can't move because of the frostbite hurt so much and you're like, providing you're telling the truth, which I'm not sure you are, you know? Man, I prefer the term technician, if you don't mind. And sure, it might seem strange to risk one's life for a job. But can you imagine what would happen to the city if the city failed to function while it's cut off from the worst of the world by true winter? We'd all make fine interior decorations, but why would you imagine such a scenario? Do you have a reason to believe the city's in danger? Oh no, at least I hope it isn't. I simply wanted to show you how important a janitor's job can be. Same with doctors, really. You don't need them most of the time, but you'll surely agree it's good to have one around when you break a leg. Never broken a bone in my body. I'm just tempting fate by saying that, aren't I? I've broken several. That's much better to say out loud. Good point. I guess the imaginary worst case scenario really is important. All right. You don't have to tell me anything, my evasive friend. There's not much to do here. We'll have... <laughs> we'll have many long evenings to chat about every... Hey, don't touch that! I'm sorry. I'm really thirsty and this tea smells so nice. I thought the herbs I healed you with can make your mouth a bit dry. Just drink plenty of water and please don't touch these vials. They're dangerous. In untrained hands, these herbs and juices can do more harm than good. What? This is a healing potion! But we have had to make two... <laughs> We've had to make strychnine and cyanide to make it, so don't drink them individually. Together, they're like a happiness marshmallow. <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect you do have a death wish. I'm suicidal because you can't keep your place clear of deadly traps. You haven't told me anything about yourself, so I have to go off what I can observe. Right now, the only thing I know about you is the state of your frostbite. It's fine, by the way. You don't know anything about me? I'm a technician, mate. Just told you that. Probably not true. I have to say, I'm impressed. You seem to have recuperated completely. I'm happy to say my work here is done. I'm glad to hear that, Doctor. I'm very eager to get back to normal life. You should check your head, though. An attempt to get to the city on foot is close to suicidal, even in summer. Stop calling everything suicidal. Whatever made you try something so dangerous must have been very important. I would be lying if I said I'm not curious. Nice to know someone finds me interesting. Yeah, I think we've already been through this, haven't we? You almost died to get here. If that's not interesting, I don't know what is. Okay, so all we're seeing is, is now from a different perspective. Doctor, Dr. Galen, are you there? What the? Sounds like an emergency, Doctor. I'd best leave you with your patient. The Doctor seemed nice enough, if a bit restless. He stormed out after one of his patients asked to him to look for her drunk husband or something, leaving me to myself. At first, I wanted, I waited, I, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to wait for him to come back, but as hours passed, I realised this wasn't the most productive way to spend my time. Hmm, he has left. Why don't I just not move? <laughs> I shall stand here until he's back. Yeah, maybe you might have a point. I was feeling surprisingly well, so I decided to stretch my legs and visit the fabled merchant district, especially since there was someone I needed to meet if I was to continue with my mission. Right. I've always wanted to see the work of the old masters. The way this city functions is supposed to be a miracle. <laughs> Someone else just walking around, writing stuff down. Kim Jong-un isn't around. You don't have to write everything down, love. State-of-the-art systems built with knowledge now almost forgotten. I expected it to look differently, to be honest, more regal. Oh, good morning. If you say so, how can I help you? You lost? I'm looking for the person in charge, the current head of the families. I've heard this year he stayed for the whole true winter. You heard wrong. Istvan is the one who stayed, but he resigned from his post already. Officially, he's just a retired old man with a bad attitude. Christ, you're a forthcoming information for someone who doesn't know who I am. 
Are you sure they wouldn't leave the city without a designated overseer? Well, he's the only member of the family's present, so it's not like he can he can't take his seat back. I guess that makes him the overseer. Man, you are clenching your fist something fierce. You are pissed. Walls have ears here, and they all report to Istvan. Then why are you saying this shit out loud? <laughs> oh, I fucking hate him. Oh, yeah, he's so incompetent. By the way, everyone can hear us, so don't say anything too weird. <laughs> Sounds like the person I need to see. My, you have a lot of guards here. Why would they send... Why would anyone need so many when there's so few citizens left? Family members prefer situations where they have huge advantages over others. A large number of guards and only a few of us. That's how Istvan likes it. You don't have to worry about them too much, though. They've been trained to stand and do nothing for hours. Unless, of course, you intend to do something stupid, like going into Istvan's quarters without permission. And where would I get such permission from you, I presume? Oh, no, I'm a nobody. I just answer the door. You need a family member to invite you up there. So I need to speak to Istvan before I can see Istvan. Is that what you're saying? I guess so. <laughs> oh, good. Good. So there's no bureaucracy here whatsoever. How should I approach this? Get Istvan here right now! No, we're not that kind of person. We're a happy kind of person. You seem so resigned. Are you all right? Of course I'm resigned. Everyone who deals with the family breaks sooner or later. Sounds like there's a sad story in there. If you want to talk, you know... No, silly, I don't. I'm trying to warn you. The family's greed is never sated. They'll use any means to gain influence and wealth. Uh, you just said the walls have ears! Why are you saying all of this? They exploit people's weaknesses. When that fails, they threaten people into submission. Since the family's word is law, there's nothing you can do. You speak of them as if they were ruthless demons, yet the city prospers. Even the poorest houses here are luxurious and well-kept. As far as I know, there hasn't been a rebellion for hundreds of years. You wouldn't expect such evil to provoke opposition. Oh, you would. Again, a sentence that makes more sense if you say it properly. Or at least unrest. I've heard of none, so forgive me if I'm sceptical. Of course nobody resists. They're too afraid. Let me give you an example. One of the young masters found a trader's daughter to be uncooperative. He cut her nose off. He said she turned her nose up to the world too much. Then he broke her father's neck so the family would stop holding their heads so high. The families thought nothing of it and the man went unpunished. Those who spoke up and tried to help the trader got a private audience with the guards. That sounds awful. And unlikely. You trying to scare me away with urban legends? It's probably true. I used to be like you. I believed in order and denied such atrocities. I had to learn the hard way how this world work. Don't make my mistake. You don't even know me, but fine, I'll bite. What is it that happened to you? Istvan, but I've said too much. I'll fetch him for you. That's my job after all. Just be careful when you speak to him. The architecture we construct will determine boundaries for common rituals and customs. The city in the north built for the chivalrous founding families is a great example. Its design strengthens the positive natural tendencies their culture exhibits. So much for coming armed with knowledge. Where is this annoying visitor? One would think the dead season would be, you know, dead. Ah, you're the sick one, aren't you? Not anymore, a good doctor got me back on my feet. I came to see you right away. I... You can't imagine how flattered I am. I just adore people who know my time is theirs to waste. But I didn't think... That's the problem with you young people. You don't think. Next time, leave your request with Laura and wait for my formal reply. Understood? Wow. Well, that one's a terrible answer. <laughs> All options seems bad. Hey, I risked my life to get here. Well, that wasn't very wise of you then, was it? Look, I came here to help you. This city might be in trouble, and so might you. I was sent here with the task sent by whom? By the faculty. We're monitoring the city, and it appears... Wait! If this is true, prove it to me. I might even give you some of my precious time. Tell me the password. Do you really need to go through this? Hurry up, will you? I don't have all day. You are acting like a snowflea with a rash. And the countersign? You act as if you had a rash somewhere I can't see. Satisfied? Your Dean and I had a blast when we decided on it. 
Along with a bottle of something old, I'm sure. Please, can we focus on the problem now? So that's the password, the rash thing. Okay, so we should have set that first up. <laughs> details, details. A bigger problem than people not respecting my time. This should be good. Speak up, child. You know we monitor the city systems. Recently, we detected a disturbance, a malfunction of sorts, in the first technical barrier of the city. You needn't bother bore me with details. Is that all some small maintenance work? Is that all? This place was designed by faculty masters with knowledge and skill many would mistake for magic. It was strengthened by people of faith in their protective rituals. This place does not simply malfunction. It hasn't done so for centuries and it never should. Malfunction seems to cause you distress. Not a quality I would expect in a repair woman. This malfunction is too unlikely. Moreover, when the faculty sent a colleague to examine it, he vanished. You mean San? He claimed he came for a regular checkup. He was investigating a possible sabotage. The more knowledge one has about the city's systems, the more probable their involvement. You wouldn't warn a suspect. Yet you are spilling your guts out to me. Are you a bad investigator or have you excluded me from the list of possible saboteurs? All my possessions were lost in the blizzard, my tools, my money, and most of my maps and blueprints. If I'm to accomplish anything, I need your help. But let's see this straight. Do you still suspect me? No. <laughs> we need his help. Suspecting him is a terrible idea. You don't need to worry. I know you invested a lot in this city. I'll take that into consideration before I do anything rash. My, you're weak. You fold after a question. Fix the city and be gone. Let bad people make their fortunes and good people learn their lessons. Nobody is threatening us but your imagination. Your predecessor, San, didn't find anything use unusual. I saw him pack up and leave, as others will do. <sighs> we'll no doubt confirm. Are you sure? He was last seen here. No one so much has caught a glimpse of him in camp or town or on the way back. Now I've heard another person went missing, someone named Lev. Where is he supposed to be during the dead season? Now, now, Lev is an entirely different case. He has a history of vanishing mysteriously. Again, ask around. Two people missing in a perfect mechanism malfunctioning. Coincidence like this is possible, but not probable. <sighs> At the very least, it'd be unwise not to look it up. I'm sure you agree. Very well, kid. Don't look for Lev if you think there might be some connection. You will get shelter and whatever tools we have available. I'll ask Laura to prepare a proper writ confirming you are acting on my behalf. Thank you. I have another request, though. Control chambers were well hidden, available only to a chosen few. I need a complete set of plans to access them if I'm to assess what's wrong. Laura will fetch them as well from the library vault. You can get them tomorrow. If there's anything else you cannot handle yourself, go bother Laura. Won't you even point me in the right direction with the investigation? It's possible that someone is trying to disrupt the city system. Any idea where to look? If there really is something to investigate, which I doubt, you should draw your own unbiased conclusions. Right, but where should I start drawing these conclusions? Gasp, Peter Cassia, the captain of the guard for facts about people. If you prefer gossip and secrets of the heart, the keeper of the bars would be your best source. Her name is Constance. Thank you. Both sound like a good start. Okay, there you are. You guys, <laughs> there's a choice and we've sort of overrun on the episode again. Um... What would, what would you guys, Smiders, like to see? Would you want to go, let us go to Casilla? Or would you like us to go to Constance? Let me know. See you guys next time.